This isn't gonna work well. It's fun. So the universe let me out to play again, but I gotta tell you, Mother Nature is pissed off. Hey everybody, welcome to Dirt Guy Drive Time, the personal vlog and mindless ramblings of a little guy named Dirt Guy on his way from work in his truck. I've actually been doing this show for on and off for four years, five years. I, I got a lot of videos, baby, uh, doing this. And I, I don't think I've run out of things to talk about yet, much to your chagrin, I am sure. Um, so, yeah, you know, um, uh, still getting that power thing happening at work, um, sort of ramping up. Uh, I don't know, tomorrow, um, one of the universal nemesis is, uh, may rear its ugly head, and, and I'll have to deal with that, and so God knows, but I'll be like tomorrow on my way home from work. You know, they're 10 hour days, hour and a half to work, two hours home from work. That's a long ass day. Anyway, um, so we'll see how it goes tomorrow, but, uh, tomorrow, uh, or today, uh, go to work and all, and all that, and, uh, the wind. I've never experienced winds like this. Matter of fact, driving home, trying to get out of the windy part, uh, I had to slow my truck down because the wind was hitting my hood so hard, it was buckling. I have a, a reinforced F-150 aluminum hood, and it was buckling. I started having this thought, like, what if the hood just blows up right now? What am I going to do? I had to slow down, is, is the point of all that. So that's all fine and dandy. Hey, thanks to all of you who watched yesterday's video about my wild kingdom I got at home. You know, we didn't get a whole lot into my four terriers and my obstinate cat, uh, nor did we talk about the uh, thousands, literally, of uh, crows and seagulls and just just giant hawks that we got going there. Because I figure 15 minutes of animal stories is probably enough for you. So, uh, although apparently it's bleeding into this episode, check me out. So, uh, a couple things on my mind uh, today, um, and then we'll see where it goes, all right? Uh, thing number one that kind of cracks me up is, uh, you know, YouTube started allowing content creators like me, I guess, I'm a content creator, hey, hats off to me, um, to offer m channel memberships to their subscribers for, ch for a nominal amount of money like per month you get extra content extra bonus stuff and you know i've got that going over on the railroad show and uh railroad channel it's my railroad and it's going pretty well uh, actually uh problem is it's kind of hard to keep up with the commitment to be honest with you especially with my freaking life and i'll i'll get to that in a minute well my life is okay but career um but the thing i find hysterical is um, this channel's got like almost 1,200 subscribers, but my views get like 50 to, let's say 250 views a video. Not massive, not a lot of money being generated there. It's just, it is what it is, and this is where we have fun. Well, I got notified by YouTube that, hey, you now qualify for channel memberships. Yeah, I, I told Cindy that, I just started laughing. By the way, Cindy is my wife, the queen of everything. Uh, I started laughing because what could I possibly offer this audience for like a membership? Hey, I'll make another video. <laughs> I got no, there's no behind the scenes. There's no bonus content. Not certain we're going to go down the membership route uh, on Dirt Guy <laughs> Drive Time. Although, it got me thinking about, um, I used to do a, a show live stream called The Dirt Show. You'll find some of those episodes uh, further down in the videos on this channel. The Dirt Show was a live stream of about an hour. Uh, I was doing it about once a week and then eh, it blew up, so I stopped. But I really dug it. Um, towards the later half of doing that show, I was researching a topic. I had all kinds of graphics and all kinds of stuff. And, and I really wish I could do that. Now, maybe that's worth a live stream or uh, worth a membership. I don't know. I've seen my show. So, eh, I don't know. I think I'd like to do the live stream thing again, though, um, for Railroad Show and for the Dirt Show. The problem is, uh, I don't have the bandwidth. I don't have the white space, and I'm gonna get back to that in just a minute. But I have one more YouTube thing that just cracks me up about YouTube, and um, 
uh, on the dirt show i used to do a lot of stuff with conspiracy theories and so uh, those are going to culminate right now on my way to work today i felt as though i was ex why are you just zipping in and out of traffic like a motard i'm sorry they intruded on our show um, i was experiencing what i guess is a migraine and um you get the little squigglies going in your eyes and, and stuff i was like what the hell is this I don't get migraines. I'm not a migrainer guy. I don't get that. So I got to work and I was telling my boss, my bro, I said, hey, you know something? I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, today on my way to work, I had a migraine, I think. And he's, you know, he studied to be a doctor and he knows all kinds of stuff. So he was like, oh, dude, be careful, blah, blah, blah. It would, 30 minutes later, I was standing out in the freezing cold wind, making sure people don't park in the parking lot. And I was, trolling through uh, YouTube and the first commercial that came up, boom, for migraines. Yep, never seen the commercial prior to that. Or it's an ad, actually. And um, didn't research it online. Didn't look at it on YouTube. My damn phone was listening to me and told YouTube what's going on right now. There's like buzzwords like your phones are listening to you and that's not a conspiracy theory it can't be uh, i made a whole actually episode a dirt show on um alexa is listening because um these devices with little microphones and wi-fi data connections they listen to what you're saying and they pick up on some some key words and then they start programming towards whatever's on your mind i'm not lying uh, Cindy and I have experienced that many times. One time she and I were talking about, wouldn't it be fun to go to a U2 concert when they come back into town? And boom, suddenly we were inundated with U2 crap. She hadn't searched, we hadn't searched, no, we just had a conversation uh, with our phones in proximity. Mm. But um, anyway, going back to white space for just a minute. I was having lunch with my son Sunday, and truth be told, I I had a very busy weekend. I was doing a lot of video stuff and da da da. And so I didn't, now hear me through on this, I did not have time to uh, acquiesce my son's request to go have a meal with him and, and shoot the shit or whatever, right? And uh, But I made myself do it because it's my son, for the love of God. And he and I were talking about some stuff, I won't share it with you, but um, I, I told him, well, part of my problem is, bro, I don't have any white space. And he asked me what white space was. All right, I took for granted that, you know, the whole Western world knows what white space is, but let me explain it to you. By the way I explained it to him, I said, you got a page with writing on it, and if you've got so much writing on it that there's no white space left, there's no place to add something new. I said, it's a way of saying my calendar is so soundly booked that I don't have time for something that's a curveball, something out of the blue. Um, uh, son goes, hey dad, let's go hang out. And I'm like, well shit, I don't have time. You need to make time for the important stuff. Uh, Cindy wants me to, I don't know, take out the trash in the kitchen. I'm like, I'll get to it when I get to it. I ain't got a damn white space. That's unacceptable. That is no way to live. And so, Cindy and I are trying to figure out a way to get me more white space. Now I've got commitments on my, it's my railroad channel, and a lot of it, it's from work and, and um, videos, okay. Um, I got commitments um, to Model Railroader Video Plus, Model Railroader Magazine for contracts I've signed for videos I need to produce. I love doing them. Um, I like being part of that team and the collaborative effort there. That's kind of fun. And I've got my, it's my railroad channel. Hello. Uh, got to make videos there. Um, Right, and I got the, now I've got members that I make videos for. I got to do that. There's a commitment there, and then um, then there's my day job. Clearly a commitment because you need the day job to pay the bills, and so. But my day job is an hour and a half to work, ten hours on site, two hours home, and every other Saturday. I have no white space. I have no white space in my life. Matter of fact, I have so little white space that making these videos for you guys on my way up from work, I truncate that because 
believe it or not, these little shitty little videos, by the time I render it, blah, 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 and upload it, make a thumbnail, I've invested 35 or 40 minutes in this video when I don't have that to invest. So my, my cautionary word to you is make sure you leave yourself white space. Maybe most of you do. Maybe I'm the only dunderhead that's uh, screwed up with it, but leave yourself white space. And secondly, that, that master plan that Cindy and I put together for 2021 to uh, basically F shit up in 2021, part of that is me rooting out some kind of white space. Um, I gotta figure that out. If that means I don't make more of these shows, I don't make more of these shows. I, I don't I don't know what it means. But anyway, you know, I just like to, to give myself a little therapy action on the way up from work, and you guys are kind enough to listen to it. So um, I don't think that was random crap that'll change your life, but it sure made me feel good. So I'm gonna put my coffee down and I'm gonna tell you thanks for watching, thanks for being here, thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to check out my latest model railroad video on It's My Railroad. And until I see you again, my name is Steve Brown and make it white space, people. You gotta do it.